channel I'm so sorry for not posting for so many weeks and I have been caught up with so many things and my schedule was so packed for the following months my schedule will be packed as well so please bear with me if I have not posted for weeks or so so in today's video will be what's on my iPhone so I recently got this iPhone 12 mini I know that iPhone 13 has launched but I've still decided to get iPhone 12 mini in this beautiful purple I've got it um, late last year so yeah this is one of my favorite colors and I've been falling in love with this color every time so as you can see my phone case is actually clear and this phone case is really protective um, I have accidentally dropped my phone um, not from a really high place but like just low and so far it has protected my phone really well and I believe that it will protect all your phones even when you drop it by accident so if you want to buy the shop it's I mean the brand is amazing things you can't really see but I'll try to link where I bought this um, in the description below so you guys can purchase it for your own so I checked to start this video so without further ado let's get started so, let's begin so on my lock screen I have this really beautiful purple color wallpaper with a little shade of pink and blue it's made created by Apple it's from the wallpapers and then you click live but not all Apple phone has this because you need to update your phone first so I'm going to show you how the live wallpaper works so it just moves a little bit and turns the shade around a little bit so now it's the most exciting part where we head into my home screen so on my first page I have uh, three widgets and the apps which are the most important so I'm going to explain one by one so on the top left I have my batteries um, I think it's really important to put there because every time like when I open I don't have the icon on the top like saying 73% so then there at least I can see and track my battery percentage and it's very useful especially when you connect your airpods um, or other stuff into your phone you can easily see the battery percentage through there Beside it, I have four of my most used apps, so we have settings, my suggestion which is commonly used these days due to the pandemic, camera to take pictures, and clock where I set my alarm timers. So these four apps are the most used and really important for me for daily usage. In the middle, um, I have this widget from Widget Smith. I customize it myself, putting the purple like books kind of background and then having today's day and the date on it so this is from widget smith you can download the app it's really easy to use and you can customize it based on your own preference and how we like to design your phone so at the bottom i have photos gmail app store and drive photos is where i store my photos email so where i receive my um, emails and stuff Okay, so once again, I have photos, email, app store, and drive at the bottom. Photos, um, where I store my photos. Email, where I receive my emails from people or like, you know, apps. App store, where I download my apps. And Google Drive, where I kind of store my homework inside there and also like my YouTube videos. I store it in as well. And beside it, I have a widget by from Color Widgets. So this beautiful picture of this girl like that. With her purple nails, purple phone case. And yeah, I think it gives me a vibe. Okay, so I forgot to talk about my background, but anyways, let's talk about the background. Now. So this background is actually a like slimy, silky, heart shape in like purple, black, green, white. I love it so much because it has a combo of all my favorite colors and it matches so well. So since we're finished talking about that, I'm going to talk about my second page. So on my second page on the top left, I have a weather widget where I can see the daily weather here in my country in Kuala Lumpur. So to the, the degrees right now is 32 degrees, it's really sunny um, but I'm sure it's going to rain later on. So beside it, I have four different folders. So we have socials, school and then you have that love thing which is editing file and self-care. It's not really self-care, I used to have self-care apps inside but I don't have anymore. So I just left it like that, but I think it's still cute, okay? 
so now let's go through my socials. So I have other socials, but in the socials, I just put the others that I don't use a lot. So we have Pinterest. Make sure you follow my Pinterest. I'll put it in the description. Telegram. I have a Telegram channel for my editing account. So if you guys want to join, I will also link it in the description. My Facebook, but that I don't really use a lot. Um, but I just have it. So yeah. Then our school, for school I have Zoom where you know everyone uses for school to communicate with their teacher and ha uh, conduct classes. Schoology is my school platform where we use for assignments and stuff. Adobe Scan is something that I really recommend for you guys if you want to use. You can easily scan your work for your teacher and you can have it in PDF or PNG or like images. Then iReader, so iReader is, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to use it. So basically there will be different genres of like books. So for example, I will choose fantasy and they will have a few books about like 12 or more, 12 and above. And then you just choose example, I like to read Alice Adventures in Wonderland. So I'll click on it and I'll click get. Then it will download for you and then you can start reading it's really simple where you can just you know flip every time and you can also change the from dark mode to light mode but i personally like dark mode that's why i'm using dark mode so i think that it has and at the bottom it will say how many pages left or like um what page you are at so it's really cool to use for reading if you are a very good reader or like to read books I personally don't really like to read books but I do read sometimes because like you know when you're free you do reading okay and then next I have my editing apps I just have um, like most of the editing apps and I don't want to go through it because I have too much to go through so next we have self care app, uh, self care folder which I have this app named sorted so sorted is actually for you to organize your daily um, activity um, daily to do's and stuff so I'm gonna add example uh, I need to edit this video so I'll write edit what's on, oops what's on my iPhone video okay and then I can put in a date that's due today maybe I can put in a time at around 10 o'clock uh, PM and then you can save and then it will automatically be on your screen and then when you're done you just tick it off and then done it's really simple to use and it's just enough for you to use for your daily usage well I'm sure there are other apps that you can use but this is just my perf uh, personal opinion and underneath those four apps and the widget you can see that I have the sorted widget which is the widget from the sorted app that so i can see my daily um inbox on what work i need to do or what i'm doing with today and what i have to do so that i can keep track so that once i open like example i want to open my phone okay i need to know what i need to do today okay i can see my priority to do this is there so it's really easy to use you can also use other apps like reminders when you don't need to download any other apps because it's already in apple so yeah underneath I have four of my, no, five of my socials. Instagram, make sure you follow. TikTok, make sure you follow. Snapchat, uh, I only accept close friends, so I'm so sorry that I don't actually, uh, like, add you guys. So you, but you guys still can follow me because I have a pu public profile. And I have YouTube, so this is YouTube that I'm filming this video for, so make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't. I have Twitter. I don't really use Twitter or I don't post anything on my Twitter. I use it to like find information because like I watch badminton, I watch gymnastics. So information I usually post on Twitter as well. So I use it as a backup app for information. Then I have Microsoft Teams where my school is going to be using it soon. I just downloaded it because I wanted to see um, what happens if I download it on my phone and how it looks just in case of any emergency that I need to use my phone. So that's basically it for the first and second home screen. And now let's talk about the bottom dock. I have four apps which I also use a lot. WhatsApp, the common app that you chat with your friends, Messages, um, Safari, and Phone. So moving on, I'll talk about this page here. So on the top, I also have the sorted um, 
rigid because I think it's really helpful when especially in your lock screen you just swipe and then you can see as well just in case I don't want to open my phone or anything and then at the bottom I have calendar because I used to put um, some of my friends on birthday in the calendar so that it's easier to remember so as well as that and again I have battery at the bottom of my screen so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will link all the pictures I'll put it in a Google Drive for you guys so that if you guys want to use the pictures, widgets and others then you can find it in the Google Drive as well. So I hope you guys are doing really well and I personally am doing very well just that my schedule is a little bit packed but I'm sure that I'll produce the best videos for you guys to watch. So here comes the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe, give this video a big like and also comment down what other video contents you want me to film. So that's all and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!